morning, Martin. Good morning. Um, I got your name from Casper, from uh, Hagen, because yeah. I uh, found Hagen bikes on the internet, and I was uh, interested in in the concept of the bike, and uh, so I contacted him. I asked if there was somebody in Belgium who owned an uh, Hagen or Hagen. I don't Hagen. Hagen. Yeah. Uh, so he pointed me towards you. Uh, so here we are. Um, yeah. So, can you tell us a bit uh, how you came in contact with uh, Hagen Bikes and Casper? I think similar to, to you, just online. Um, I think I saw uh, first time his blog where he explained how he was making a cargo bike because he used to make uh, normal bikes and sidecars for also, bikes. Yeah. And I was just uh, searching a new cargo bike. I uh, was already riding one. Um, but I don't really like the style or the looks of. Uh, okay, and which our other one was bike. that? An this urban arrow. An urban arrow, yeah. Okay. The typical urban arrow. It's a, just a cargo hauler or a kids hauler, and uh, very practical. But it's yeah. not really my style. So I was uh, looking for another more sporty cargo bike, which points us automatically towards the bullet most of the time. Um, and then I came up with this one. I like the fact that it's steel. Uh -huh. um, it's more my thing or my liking. And I contacted Casper uh, and we had a very good click from the beginning. Um, so this is how we, we ended up with this one. Yeah, okay. So, and I understand that um, he doesn't work like with retailers, bike shops, but mostly he sells directly yeah. Uh, yeah, it, from his website. Yeah, the, the main idea is to sell from the website. Uh, and to have in some countries an ambassador like me, so people who are passionate about bikes and can show the bike and offer test rides. Yeah. Um, but some countries do have a shop. The ambassador can be a shop. Also, basically. Yeah. But so it's, it's not, a bit the mix yeah, of the two. It's a bit the mix of the two. Yeah, depends a bit um, from country to country. But in Belgium, we don't really have a shop. Yeah. It's just me for just the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, so uh, I've seen on the website that they have like uh, three different uh, models or yeah. uh, sizes, yeah, uh, which yeah. is this one? This is the, the regular or the middle size. There is, um, so, so from the cargo bay area, there's a, a very small one, sort of mini. Um, this is the normal one and then there's a longer one, the XL. So this is in between. Um, and then you can have uh, another frame, there's two sizes, this, this is the 53, this, so the, the smaller fits all frame mm -hmm. and then they go up to a, a larger frame for taller people who maybe from looks also don't like that the seat stem is very high, high. up. Yeah. So in this case, this is the normal one. And then you can have a, a more step through model, uh -huh. which then goes like mm -hmm. more, yeah, yeah. easier maybe in the city than... Yeah. Yeah. This one. Okay, and it's also possible to have like a, a frame kit, I think. Yeah? So yeah. you don't have yeah. to buy the complete no. bike. You can no. also order the yeah. frame and Absolutely. assemble yeah. the yeah. bike to yeah. your likes. Yeah, yeah. This, this is what, what really attracts me to the, um, to the concept, but also to the company and maybe also the person. Casper is very passionate about bikes. Mm -hmm. And you can really ping pong with him about your ideal bike. So you can say, okay, I want this type of frame. I want this modification, this color. Um, I, I think fitting this kind of brakes or these wheels and he can ev even adapt the frame when really necessary. Yeah. So, okay. it, and it's really helpful in, in pointing you towards a good direction with the good components or um, there is a very easy contact with them. Yeah. So did you already met him? Or in meet person, him in person? Not, or not, yet, not yet, no. I was planning to go towards them one day, but then uh -huh. with the corona came again and yeah. Yeah, we're just so a lot of projects going on. Yeah, it still has to happen. Yeah, it still has to happen. Yeah, okay. So you didn't, uh, you haven't seen or uh, driven the other uh, no. sizes? No, no, not yet, no. no. no uh, there is, uh, I know that when I bought this one, there was some other uh, customer um, around Leuven. Mm -hmm. Um, it has the standard version, so not electric assisted. Yeah, the mechanical uh, one. But I just bought this without trying it. Yeah. I just yeah. think, okay, I think the concept is good. I yeah. just 
take it and yeah yeah and we'll see feeling was good so i just did it yeah okay so um okay let's uh, let's go over the bike yeah. in a bit more detail um normally i always start in the front and yeah. then i move yeah. we move uh, backwards yeah and sure. then we'll see so the um, so it's a uh, 20 inch front wheel yeah i yeah, think yeah, yeah very classic 20 yeah. inch standard front wheel yeah not nothing no, disc disc brake yeah disc brake uh, yeah. normally the standard one is uh, a shimano uh -huh. a 200 mm -hmm. um and i casper uh, and i we managed an upgrade uh -huh. to magura okay which is just a bit uh, more uh, strong yeah um but you can have the twin magura set or another setup yeah as you like yeah as you like okay yeah. and it's a the schwalbe tires i think yeah the it's marathon also the marathon is on there. typical yeah yeah and then uh the light yeah it's light move they mm -hmm. use light move um it's really really nice it's very bright led led light like it, it's the standard today so yeah and it's, it's really powered cool. by the battery. It's powered by the battery. Yeah. You can switch it on or off in yeah. the menu of the, uh, mm -hmm. of the Shimano okay. system on this one. So, yeah, what we didn't mention, but what's really important, I think, to mention, is that it's, it's a steel frame. Yeah. It's not an aluminum frame, because a yeah. lot of the cargo bikes out yeah, there are, are aluminum. in yeah. aluminum. And this is really a, a, a yeah, steel. Yeah, it's full steel. It's yeah. uh, chrome molybdene on the uh -huh. rear and then full steel on, on the front. Yeah. But it's not really heavy for a steel no. frame no. Um, and I really like the flex that yeah. it gives yeah. uh, especially here the roads are not really good uh -huh. um, and with a, an aluminum cargo bike it, it's too harsh it's too hard yeah and then you had low you have to lower the pressure in the tires to yeah. have some yeah, comfort you have to look somewhere yeah. else to get and, more comfort and here you can really feel the frame flexing yeah. in the middle yeah. Um, but it's still like handling very well and yeah, it's cornering well, on very corner, well. You don't feel really flexing. It's really on the, the hard bumps. Then you can feel the frame in the middle where the, yeah. the cargo is fixed to the bike. Let's mm -hmm. say there you can really feel it, it going yeah. like this. Okay. Uh, which gives another comfort on, yeah. on, on these not so good no. roads around here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So and then we have the, the cargo area. Yeah. You've uh, Put yeah. like a, um, a box on yeah, it so for I, your children. I chose the, the large box. Mm -hmm. You can see it; it's a bit larger. Yeah, here. it's a bit wider it's than, a bit the, bike wider than the bike itself. The bike itself. Yeah. With the two uh, the twin seat. Uh -huh. um, it, it's it's sort of very special material. It's mm -hmm. an aluminium. Uh -huh. With inside, it's like uh, a plastic. Okay. So it's very strong mm -hmm. and very light. Ah yeah. Um, so and that's also. Uh, made and delivered yeah, by Hagen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they do it all. Yeah, it, it, they do the it. bike arrived as you see it now. Yeah. Uh, I just added the the locks. That's yeah. It. Yeah. And all it, it really, I didn't really have to do it apart from adjusting the seat. Yeah. Right? And then you. So they were ready it to ride. To your door, ready to ride. Yeah. Incredible. Okay. So and then you have also like a, a windscreen on the yeah. box, so but you don't have a canopy. You, you can't yet. close it. It it is it's, it's existing now. So uh -huh. they work together with uh, Clares. Mm -hmm. in the, ah yeah, in from Holland. the bags. From yeah. the bags. So the Clares makes very nice canopies with the leftovers of the bag, or the other way around. They make yeah. the bags with the leftovers of the the canopies. Yeah. And um, when I bought one, uh, this canopy was not uh, ready yet. Mm -hmm. So I have the windscreen, which mm -hmm. is really effective, mm -hmm. especially in rain, because the rain flies over. For me, it's not good, but yeah. for the children, it's good. <laughs> you get all the, yeah, the, I get all the, the rain, splashes, but, uh, in, yeah. It's, it's but the kids are dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah the kids are relatively yeah. dry. And you keep your, you have to keep your speed because yeah, yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah. sure. Uh, and now the uh, the new canopy is without the the screen, so okay. it fixes around here. Uh -huh. And there is a sort of U shape which you can change the height. Ah, yeah. So even larger people can sit underneath the canopy. Yeah. So if you have the movable stem like I yeah. have here, so yeah. you can put it higher, and yeah. then it's it's quite tall. Yeah. It's, you it's can about adapt this it. this high, so even like six seven year olds can fit under the canopy yeah. without a problem. Yeah. It's really nice made with a door up front, yeah. so you, you open it here and then you can yeah, and get you can in. step in. You can yeah. step in. Okay. So this is on my to-do list to maybe see whether yeah. I take the canopy. And yeah. 
or just go on like this. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So and yeah, this one is the uh, an electrified bike. Yeah. Um, it's still it's the Shimano EP8. Yeah. This one. Um, uh, combined with the, the belt and then the Alfine 8 speed uh -huh. in the rear, yeah. uh, which for me is a really great setup. Mm -hmm. um, it shifts very smoothly, it's powerful. Um, you don't really feel a lot of losses while uh -huh. pedaling because I, I quite a lot drive it without assistance because I'm too, too fast. You go 30 yeah. km yeah. kilometers per hour without any problem. Um, and I'm not really a fan of the uh, uh, Enviolo. Um, no. So I know the new bikes are another system, mm -hmm. this Enviolo. The automatic Enviolo I've seen on the uh, website. Enviolo, yeah. yeah. Uh, combined with another motor. Yeah. Uh, which is also very strong. Um, which I like in the new setup is that you can have the GPS chip integrated in your motor. Yeah. Um, I think that was one of the main reasons why he switched from yeah. Shimano to Brose. Eh? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So that's something I really like, that yeah. this is possible, uh, which is not possible on this one. No. Uh, but okay. it's, it is possible, but then you have to open it and yeah, yeah. Put, uh, put your own GPS chip inside. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. there are some hacks to do yeah. so. But, okay. Uh, I trust on the big Abus lock now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you can always take an insurance also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so and then we'll have uh, a look at uh, at the cockpit. So the, um, yeah, the handlebar, um, you know which brand it is? It's um, which he uses. Otherwise, we have. I will have a look on the website. Yeah, it's, I think yeah. it's pro something. It's the same as the, the, the seats. Seats them. Um, yeah, I can't remember. No, it's not. it's just a, a regular like mountain bike style yeah. grip. Yeah, which I'll. Uh, feeling which I really like. Mm. Um, and then you told me you did some modifications yeah. Yeah, on so, the um, gearing, on the, yeah. the not the so gearing the system, but the shifter for so, the power. Yeah. yeah, this shifter is an EP7 shifter of a 7 series Shimano. Mm -hmm. um, the original 8 is like a thumb uh, finger uh -huh. shifter, similar to this one. It okay. looks quite yeah. similar to this mm -hmm. one. Um, but I I thought it was too, my cockpit was too cluttered, so yeah. uh, I changed to this one. Yeah. And it's very neat, very easy to, to use. Yeah. And then, yeah, we have the small colored display, yeah. Shimano standard. Yeah, that's the... Um, and this is plug and play, so yeah. that's all easy. Yeah, and the grips, and they also came the with standard, the bike. Um, the Magura, I ordered with the bike, mm -hmm. so instead of the Shimano brakes, I got the Magura brakes without any issue, yeah. which makes them all smaller and more yeah. sporty. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's an overall, it's also a very, it, it looks very sporty. Yeah. I've yeah. driven it just a few moments ago and yeah, it drives very yeah. uh, sporty and uh, you're also quite compact on yeah. the bike. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, you're a lot smaller than me, yeah. so for me the seat is like this high. Yeah, yeah. So I really have the same feeling as on my race bike on yeah. this one. Yeah. And it's almost it's as more or less the same geometry yeah. than yeah, a race bike. Yeah, it's very bike. similar. Yeah. Um, which is, for me, it suits perfectly. I used to ten take this one, even when I don't have cargo or kids or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, and leave my race bike at home just because it's, yeah. I don't know. It drives nice. It's really nice to drive. Yeah. Okay. And then you have a Cambion Brooks saddle Yeah, mounted. this is my all-time favorite saddle, yeah. which I have, this one, I have it for over 10 years. Okay, uh, so it's well very, adapted. It's one of the very first yeah. uh, Cambio they have it. I yeah. Have, uh, yeah, it should be maybe 10 years. Yeah, okay. A bit, bit less. Yeah. But I really like it. It was on my race bike and now I put it on this one. Yeah. Because I used to this bike more yeah. than my race bike and yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. This is a 15, C15, I have a C17 uh, as well. But this is better for, for my geometry. This is yeah, better. Yeah, it's an, it's a good one. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll have a look at the back. So uh, it's a backlight. It's from the same brand as your front light. Yeah, it's front, a light. front light move. Yeah. Yeah. A really bright. Uh, yeah. LED. LED. Yeah. Very and then, nice. Um, yeah. And then the 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 back tire we see it's it's like it's a really narrow tire. Yeah, it's uh, taller than compared to the. Um, uh -huh. 
the bullet, for instance? It's a, t it's a 27 and a half or 28 inch? Uh, yeah, 27 and a half. This yeah. one. And they go to now the new model is 29, it's a full 29. So okay. it's the same size, mm -hmm. but bigger. Bigger one. Uh, yeah. Because this one is rather narrow. Yeah. Uh, it's very sporty. Yeah. Um, but comfort wise, uh, especially when you're a courier or going a lot of steps or. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then it's. Uh, if yeah. it was on my wish list, I would change to the new frame just for the bigger tire. Yeah. 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 Because, and you can't fit one that's no, bigger it's in because really, you can see it. It's really. Yeah. yeah you don't have. There's. There's no, not no, no space, no space at, all. at all to, no. to fit a bigger one. No. It, it, it is a very, uh, it's a very good tire and I never yeah. had a puncture or uh -huh. it's a very good rim as uh -huh. well. Um, so uh, it, it, it quality wise, it's certainly good. Yeah. Um, but from comfort, uh, yeah. the new frame with the bigger tires full yeah. 29 inch would they be give better. a bit more comfort. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what's also very like distinctive for the bike is that they don't use like the round tubes. Eh? They go for yeah. the yeah, yeah the square frame tubes. Yeah, um, I think to make um, a cargo bed in a round tube uh -huh. um, technically is more difficult, which the price will be higher. And this is the standard frame steel you can buy it, like just. Yeah, for yeah. any welding job in yeah. industry, so yeah. it's re relatively yeah. Yeah. easy to work with, I think, yeah. and, and easy to make it neat. Yeah. And quality-wise, it doesn't really make a difference. No. 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 It's yeah. Okay. But yeah. full chromolybdene looks good on paper. <laughs> yeah. And the mud guards, the fenders are also yeah, all something included. stock. Yeah. 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 Okay. The pedals, you know, which brand they are? You put them on yourself, no, or it's all, all, it also it's came all, stock uh, with the. It, it came with yeah. uh, with the bike. It's like uh, uh, you can see. Casper is a BMX uh, fan. Yeah. It's a BMX pedal. Yeah. With a lot of grip because of the studs. Yeah. A little. Um, yeah. And I didn't change them. Normally, I use one side normal and one side click yeah. pedal. Yeah. Yeah. SPD. Yeah, um, on all my bikes, mm -hmm. but not this one. I just keep it like that. It's it's way enough grip actually yeah. Yeah. Um, to pedal quite fast. Yeah. Okay, and then the, maybe we can have another look at the box. So there are now two child seats yep. inside the box. Yeah. But you can also configure that in different ways. If you yep. just only want to carry. Uh, yeah. Like no yeah. kids and only. Yeah, yeah, sure, uh, sure. Yeah. So the Both. the seats are made by uh, Hagen as well. Mm -hmm. So you can maybe see there's a frame, the steel frame, uh -huh. uh, with Nighthawk stamped out. Because, uh, ah, yeah, yeah. It's still from the the first uh, yeah. the brand name of the yeah. And then there is this 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 foam glued yeah. on yeah. and the five point uh, belt. Yeah. Um, and they sit really on on the floor. Um, yeah. A bit like uh, the bullet is similar. Yeah, it's more or less the same. It's not yeah. the same as in the Urban Arrow. No, there no, there you have like a little bench. bench. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the kids prefer this one. Okay, they think it's nicer. But on the long, when we ride for several hours, yeah. then the other one off. is more comfortable. The other one is more comfortable. Yeah. No. No. This, um, this is more fun to, <laughs> for them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah it will. Give yeah. more like an impression of yeah. it's more yeah. speed. It yeah, goes yeah. faster they're, they're because they're a little lower, lower they and the screen yeah. and they're not in the tent or in the. No. So they they really like it and then yeah faster faster. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So and the, the the steering is like the yeah the the classical concept yeah. 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 of a of a steering rod. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just fixed. I don't. Uh, you can add a steering damper, uh -huh. but I don't have it. I don't okay. really need you it. Don't use it. No. I never missed it. Uh -huh. uh, it's very stable. I think I managed over 50 km mm -hmm. without, any, without any speed bubble. Uh, no. no, just while braking, you can feel it that it, it goes a, a bit, little bit. bit, a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's. I don't really need it uh, no. on this one. The geometry is quite stable by itself. Mm -hmm. So it's very well well made. 
on yeah. that point. So, but you can have one if you want. So. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for all the explanation. Yeah, you're welcome. So, if people who live in Belgium are interested in a Hagen bike, they can contact yeah. you. Yeah, they can contact me or yeah. they can contact Casper uh, by website. Yeah, and then they, uh, and he'll point to me. Yeah. Anyway, so. Okay. For a test ride or some explanation. Yeah. Yeah, they're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah.